सो हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू टूटोरियल एंड मोंगो टी वी सो इन दी प्रीवियस वीडियोज यू हैव लर्न वट इज मोंगो टी वी राइट आफ्टर दैट यू हैव इंस्टॉल मोंगो टी वी इन टू योर लोकल सर्वर आफ्टर दैट यू लर्न अबाउट द बेसिक ऑपरेशन इन मोंगो टी वी सो नाउ इन दिस टूटोरियल यू विल गेट टू नो अबाउट हाउ टू इंस्टॉल दैट मोंगो टी वी इन टू द क्लाउड स्पेसिफिकली इन ए डब्ल्यू एस क्लाउड यूजिंग ई सी टू इंस्टेंस and how to access that thing from your local server don't worry creating a aws account for one year is free and whatever we will do here it will not uh, it will not be charged for you okay and you can even delete the aws account after using 11 months or 12 11 months 29 days also okay so don't worry about all those things please uh, create aws account okay so i hope you guys have already created a aws account after creating the aws account now you need to go to your browser okay and log in into your browser from by uh, using your login id and password okay after logging to your account if you are not seeing seeing this kind of window just press on aws you will come back to the same kind of window here you need to price press ec2 ec2 is a server that we want here ec2 is there but if you are not finding it here then just write ec2 here ec2 so ec2 is there virtual server i will press on it then a window like this will come that is called ec2 dashboard here you can see how many servers are there how many servers that you have created Here you need to press launch instance. Okay, go down and press launch instance. It will take some time. Now here you just need to click. Please don't forget. Here if you will click free trial, then whatever you selection that you will select later onwards, it will be free for one year. Okay. So what I will do here is I will select this server. Amazon Linux 2 AM server. Why I will select this server? There is no specific reason, but yeah, it is free, so it is a first server. So I will just select this one. Now this is the free tier T2 Micro. This is it different classifications of what is should be the size for that server. So just select whatever the default is coming. Press on next configuration. here okay don't change anything here okay don't change anything here press on add storage in add storage here also don't change anything okay so these are the if you want to add some storage for your server then but 8 gb is enough for us add tags if you want to add tags suppose uh, this is demo for mongo db right Mongo. So I will just write here uh, um, AWS using EC2. EC2. No need to write here, but still you can write. Okay. So in here you need to add the port number using which you want to connect to your EC2 instance. So what I will do is I will add a custom TCP port. Which port? On which port MongoDB should be there? Port number is two seven zero one seven, right? So two seven zero one seven is the custom port which you should use. So security group name, I am not uh, writing it. Just let it be by default, whatever it is. So who want to connect with you? EC2 instance. So I will write from anywhere. I wanted it to be connected to our. EC2 instance because you are um, when you are connected from your local system if you are not having any static IP then your IPs are always changing right if you will not write here 0.0.0.0 till here in some mask then you need to again and again change your IP so there are different options anywhere high IP and custom so I have just given you a custom okay so review and launch so you can see all the values here whichever it is there whatever whatever you have set will press and launch 
so this is a very very important step okay one of the most important step while creating ec2 instance here you need to do create a new key pair okay what it will do is it will create a password okay it will create a password to log into your ec2 instance and it can be done only once if you will not uh, do it correctly here then what you need to do is you need to delete your ec2 instance and do all these steps again so be very careful what i did i just pressed on create a new key pair then I will write here suppose a new uh, key pair key name mongo db key okay I will just download this key pair I will create a desktop I will create a folder sorry in desktop I will create a folder named mongo db instance I will save that pem file this configuration of the file is pem so I will save it here now I will do launch instance don't delete these this file this file is very important so now server is there onto your cloud right so congratulations your partial work is done now if you will go to your EC2 instance what you will see here is your one instance is running it will take some time it will take some time to show here the instance is running so here your instance is working so I will just change the name here I will just write here suppose Mongo it is not necessary but uh, I really like to write those names uh, suppose if you have multiple instances running it is easy to detect which instance is what like so it will take some time to initialize so what is happening right now is your instance is being set up into the cloud instance means what your server is being set up at cloud okay so this is the ip for my instance sorry so this is the ip for my instance okay so now in the next video I will tell you how to connect with your EC2 instance using what okay so thank you